Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use time tickets to record the time spent performing activities by employees and vendors. You can record information for many days or for a single day by using either one of the two different windows that are provided for time ticket entry. If you prefer to enter detailed notes about the activities of a single day, then you may prefer to use the time tickets window. If you wish to enter activity for several days at once, then you may prefer to use the weekly timesheet window. Regardless of which window you enter the data into, note that you can view time tickets that have been entered into one window through the other window as well. So these two windows simply provide two different views of the same time ticket data that's entered into the Sage 50 company file by the users. To enter a single time ticket, select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to Time and Expense, and then choose the Time Tickets command to open the Time Tickets window. To enter multiple time tickets into a weekly worksheet, simply select Tasks from the menu bar, roll down to Time and Expense, and then choose the Weekly Timesheet command instead. Now, in either window, you begin by selecting whether the time ticket that you will enter is for an employee or a vendor by choosing the desired option button. Then select the specific employee or vendor for whom you are recording the ticket by using the drop down that appears below the option buttons. Next, if you're using the weekly timesheet view, ensure that you're viewing the correct week for time ticket entry. You can use the Week Including button to select the date that includes the time ticket entry days, or you can use the Previous Week and Next Week buttons to select a week for time ticket entry. The days will then be displayed in the grid below. Next, you need to select the purpose of the time ticket entry from the To Be Applied dropdown that appears within the Time Tickets window. Now you can select either to a customer invoice, against a job, or as an administrative task. Now note that this drop-down appears in the Time Tickets window, and it's the same one that corresponds to the drop-down for Customer Job Administrative that appears within the Weekly Timesheet window. Now if you select from that drop-down, either the Customer or the Job options, then use the Adjacent drop-down for Customer or Job to select the desired Customer or Job ID. Now if you're entering a time ticket through the Time Tickets window, Then you would next select the date to record from the Time Details area. Then next, in either window, you would simply enter the activity item that identifies the type of timed activity to be recorded. Then within the Time Tickets window, you would simply enter the duration of the selected activity into the Time Details section. If you're using the Weekly Timesheet, note that you enter the same durations into the boxes that are shown within each day that's shown. So here we can see the activity item and how much was performed on each day. Now note that if the timed activity recorded in the ticket is for an employee, you can also select a pay level associated with their employee record. Note that this employee must be paid by time tickets when the employee record is created in order to accomplish this. If the time recorded is for a customer or job, then select a billing type for the ticket. You can also enter a billable rate if needed for future customer billing. 
You can then set the billing status of the ticket. Now when you're finished recording your time data, simply click the Save button in the toolbar at the top of either window to save the time ticket information. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.